going, guys? Uh, Kyle here with uh, One Man Band. I want to show you guys a little bit about uh, what I'm working on today. The project that uh, is at hand today is a very cheap option for trim. I'm remodeling my garage right now. I've done a lot of work out here in the last couple of weeks. We've uh, put in some new cabinets and uh, repainted the walls and uh, a little bit of tinker bed. I'm no expert in any of that. There's a lot of videos out there, so I'll have a video of any of those things. But what I was looking for was an option for trim. Um, in a garage, I feel like you know you don't want to spend a ton of money. I've tried to keep this project as budget friendly as possible. And one thing that I found very quickly was the trim is, is not very cheap. So uh, you know, at Home Depot, that stuff can be several dollars a foot. So I uh, did a little bit of research and couldn't find a lot of content online of, of alternative methods for a decent looking trim that was cheap. So I went outside the box here and started thinking, uh, what can I use? And what I came up with is a, a fence board. Uh, these are cedar fence posts, uh, cedar fence boards for like a, a wooden picket fence. <clears throat> and I have gone through and cut the dog gear off the top of it and uh, essentially uh, used it to, to put some trim in my, in my garage here. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I did it and uh, you know maybe it's something you would like to do if you've got a shop or a garage or a shed or something that you're trying to make look decent but not you know splurge a ton of money on it. So uh, I want to go through with you what I used, uh, what, what, what tools are going to be needed here. Um, so I've kind of gone in order here of, of how we're going to do all this. There's a great kitty. So uh, I bought these pickets. As you can see, they just got the dog gear on the end there. Um, just plain old, regular, just fence pickets that are four inches wide. And I believe they are uh, maybe half inch thick. I'm not real sure. Um, uh, I'm sorry, five eighths. So they're five eighths thick. Four inches wide, and they are six feet long. And you can see there's quite a drastic difference once you cut them down and sand them to what they look like whenever they're just rough cut. Uh, so that's exactly what I've done here is I have cut the dog ear off of them, sanded them down, um, so I've got my saw here that I use just to chop the ends off, um, my air compressor, you'll need one of those if you're going to be using a, a brad nailer, um, dust mask, square, my tape measure here, sander, you're going to need obviously a pencil or something to be able to mark your lines, um, the nailer that I'm using, really cheap little nail gun I bought off of Amazon, Value Air is the name of it. So far, it's worked perfect. I haven't had one jam. I've been using these uh, DeWalt 16 gauge finish nails, uh, two inch. They're working really, really well. Got a little bit of wood glue and some wood filler, uh, masking tape, because once I get done putting the trim up, I'm gonna mask it all off and paint, which leads us to here. Uh, we've got a gallon of paint. I just used the uh, Bare Premium um, paint and primer here. Uh, and then a little bit of caulking uh, to go around the edges whenever I'm done, which it's just DAP 230 uh, window door and trim caulking. It's white. So with all that being said, I will walk you through, uh, through kind of how I did this. Um, and uh, that way, hopefully this can help one of you guys out that's maybe trying to get something done here on a budget like I am.
Okay guys, for the next part here, what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> whenever I butt these two pieces of board together, um, you could just butt them up, you know, just straight, so where the two boards just come straight together. What I like to do is put a, a little uh, 30 degree bevel on it, and then that way, whenever you butt the two boards up together, it's almost seamless, and it's pretty easy to do. Um, so I just set my miter here to 30, Whenever uh, we butt the two boards up together, they're gonna sit perfectly flush with each other. And I can just put a little bit of caulking in there to cover up the hole if I need to. And it'll, I mean, it really looks pretty seamless. We'll do the next one here, same way. You don't have to adjust the saw because the boards can go you know, either way. So I just cut them all the same length, the same distance. studs are you're going to want to do that uh, so that you can I mean I guess it's optional but I wanted to be able to make sure I was putting nails in studs whenever I was building this thing up so Decently well. I'll put a little caulking in there and paint over it. Let's see how I did the door. It turned out pretty well. You can barely tell it, but right here, I had to join two boards together because they weren't quite tall enough. On this one, it's even better. So, I mean, I could have made that better. I could have sanded this down. I could have, you know, I mean, I could have spent some more time, but. I mean, it's just a garage. So I wasn't trying to make it perfect. Did a little bit of caulking on the sides here. Went all the way around the, the garage there. And this goes pretty quick, it's easy to do. I'll go back through now, 
fill all these little holes with putty, put some caulking around it, paint it, be a done deal. So I hope this helps somebody out there uh, be able to put some trim in their garage for pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to keep making more videos like this, so please uh, subscribe to the page and uh, I'll let you know when I have more going on. Thanks.